participation there. And, um, is the sound going to be there, so should we shut up? Yeah. Sorry. Wait, can you A it? comic strip, to me, is a story. It can be a brief story. It's like having the opportunity to get a peek into people, characters, lives. And they can make you laugh, they can make you cry. Just have an impact on you. For the time that you read it, it's a world unto itself. Calvin and Hobbes books. And he showed me some comic strips of Calvin and Hobbes, and I was like, whoa. And I can remember opening it up, then turn the page, and Hobbes wanted me to have this. And from that point on, the me, Calvin, and Hobbes. I met Calvin and Hobbes in the paper, I think, the way most people do. Looking through the comics, and Calvin and Hobbes was one that stood out. My grandmother is a huge fan of Calvin and Hobbes. My first and only crime, I shoplifted this book. <laughs> and I found this book of complete Calvin and Hobbes. It was in English, but I said, I don't care. I'm going to learn this language just to understand this book. I was babysitting, and a couple of the kids that I babysat, they had some books. All the books got passed to me. I ended up admiring them for a while, and I was, you know, we'd be trading them back and forth. And I had a story so many layers now and it's it's never boring or old it's, it's just like a living thing and i just discover it and appreciate it more calvin's like the kid you want to be you know even if you're a crown black kid i mean you still want to be calvin you know you're still going to be calvin if you were to ask me the question 10 years ago how would his lack of licensing affect the strip i would have said it's ridiculous it's it's going to fail it's gonna hurt the long-term legacy. People will forget the strip quickly. Because you know, part of Snoopy's enduring legacy is that you know your, your four-year-old can have a plush Snoopy and then learn about the cartoons and the strip. They fall in love with merchandising first and then the characters and the content and the art. Um, so I've said it's, it's never gonna work. It's the strip is gonna go, vanish, we'll never hear from it again. And there'll be people like me, 40 years from now, now, talk about it the same way we do about uh, Crazy Cat and Pogo. Brilliant, wonderful, the public has forgotten. Not with Calvin and Hobbes. It's universal. It has maintained its quality and integrity to the point that the kids today coming up are still reading it. How do they learn about it? It's, it's in their school libraries. That was one of the breakthroughs, is that Calvin and Hobbes was encouraged by the teachers Teachers spotted the child who was Calvin and said, you're Calvin, I want you to read this. And it got them reading. And parents encouraged it too. I, I, so I think that that made up for a lot of the merchandising that would have helped carry it on. That made up for the animation that never happened. Is that the comic was just that good that it could survive without it. I don't know that there's a lot like that. I've, I've lost track of the number of six and seven year olds who list Calvin and Hobbes as their favorite comic strip. 